But I gotta say, the Cryptos do look pretty good on the Talon, even though they're a shit tire. They'll be better than the stock ones. And I've about exhausted what I can do on the Talon and stock tires. Um, so now I wanna see if it'll make it through my mud hole over there in the backyard, in the side yard, uh, with these on here. I think it'll do just fine. Mom, you gonna try to do a donut? You gotta, you gotta do it in manual mode. Because it's, it's trying to upshift too early. What is that? There's Yeah, limited slip my ass. Here, here, keep trying it. Nice. They can't. I've done a bunch of modifications to make that possible. So the 30-inch Cryptid did really well on the Talon X. Um, I don't like these tires on an ATV at all. They just don't do anything for me, but maybe they'll be better on a side-by-side. -side. They definitely did well in my yard and in the pond and stuff. Never got stuck. I can make it through my little mud hole I dug there in two-wheel drive now. I couldn't do it in four-wheel drive on the stock tires, so that's a good sign. Um, and they're still small enough and stiff enough where you can spend donuts in them. I'm running 10 PSI on the Talon, by the way. Um, I'm doing the drone footage here to document how much fun that was had. So the marks in the yard directly correlate to the amount of fun that was had at my house over the weekend. So lots of good fun was had. Um, got really good at drifting the side by side in between the palm trees that it barely fits through sideways. So that was very, very tight butthole. Um, this mark over here, this little curly cue on the left side of the screen, that was a really good drift. Came across the yard like 40 miles an hour, got into a slide, actually lost it, you know, spun out. But I stayed on the gas and I didn't flip. So the trick is on the side by side, if you start to slide, you're going to lose it. Keep your foot planted. You're almost always better off with letting off the gas. Um, but we jumped the hill, did all the good things. Uh, my mom had a bunch of her friends over. She got to drive the Jeep and the Talon, and it was a very good time. The Can Am needs wider wheel spacers. It still wants to flip over on the Talon wheels. All right. So what's going on here is I made a Talon XMR edition. I put the stock tires from the Can Am on the Talon. And that might sound like a direct swap because they're within a millimeter on the lug pattern, but. The fronts, you just bolt right up, no big deal. The rears, the Talon has a wider offset on the factory tire, so you need to run a spacer. That's what this is. Now, the problem is the studs are too long for a one inch spacer, but all I have is one inch spacers. But luckily, due to the unique shape of a Can-Am wheel, the wheel kind of fits around the nuts. And as you can see, it actually tore into the wheel a little bit when I torqued these down. Do I care about that? Absolutely not. You can see that it's flush there. I'm not gonna have any issues. The correct way to do this would be to buy a one and a half inch spacer with 12 millimeter studs. Did not do that, so I had to use these splined lugs to fit down in the hole over the 12 millimeter studs. I had to drill out the holes in the wheel spacer to 13 millimeters so you had to slip over there. But as usual, everyone will say that it'll fail and that it's dangerous, but it'll work fine just like everything else I do. Now something else to look at when you're putting 14 inch wheels on a Talon is how much clearance you have on the knuckles. I have plenty of clearance here. My Talon R, um, when I ran a really deep dish 14 inch wheel, it was almost touching this bolt and right here, but there's plenty of clearance with 14s um, with this offset and with the spacer. And you can see that the one inch spacer puts it really square. So if you did one and a half, you'd be a little wide in the back, um, but it'd probably be worth doing to not have to mess with this because this setup would not work on every wheel. This, what I did here only works on these Can-Am wheels that have this cutout right here. Um, 
I could have chopped the stud down a little bit and ground, you know, a quarter of an inch off the back of the nut, see to make it flush. Didn't really bother doing that because all I had to do was torque it down and it kind of fits. So that's good to go. Now the reason I want to put the Talon tires on here is because this thing's never been able to spin donuts very effectively. It's too tall and top heavy and these tires have too much side bite. So now I think it's going to be the donut machine and I'll never need low range again. And of course the 33 inch Tarashi Aztecs are back on the Rubicon where they belong because that is the perfect tire and wheel setup for a Honda Rubicon. Hands down, no questions about it. Um, 33s on 18s is what you want on a Rubicon because they don't float, they pull good, they're light, etc. It's been pretty easy. And with portals, you know, you don't need a gear reduction at all. Throw the portals in there, throw the 33s. That is my favorite Rubicon setup probably of all time. The only thing that comes close to that is a stock Rubicon with a secondary reduction and 31 inch outlaws. And I'm not talking about the most ability to turn tires in thick mud and all the stuff you guys think you're competing about. Stupid. I'm talking about the most fun, right? This is for fun. Also, I bought a Jeep Gladiator, and it is also for fun.